Hello and welcome to a special interview for The Wire supported by Glendivit Books. Now that the government has authorized boosters, which it insists on calling precautionary doses for healthcare workers, frontline workers, and people over 60 with comorbidities, there are four critical questions that need to be answered, and I shall put them briefly, one by one, to one of India's top vaccine scientists, professor of virology at the Christian Medical College in Velour, and a member of the government's COVID working group, Gagandeep Kang. Professor Kang, the first critical question now that the government has authorized precautionary doses for healthcare workers, frontline workers, and people over 60 with comorbidities is which vaccine would make the best precautionary dose? A third of what you've already taken or a new vaccine altogether? At the moment, we really don't have data on what might be the best third dose for use in India. There is data from the UK study, which is the CovBoost study, which used uh, the AstraZeneca vaccine. And it tried out multiple different vaccines following two doses of an AstraZeneca series. That showed that while a third dose of AstraZeneca did increase the geometric mean ratio by about 3.25, the Novavax a vaccine given as a booster dose increased it by uh, over eight times and the mRNA vaccines increased by the maximum, which was over 24 times. Important to remember that these are only antibodies that are being measured, that there are other arms of the immune system. So just comparing how much antibodies increase by is helpful, but is not the last word on what might be the best third dose. Where inactivated vaccines are concerned, there is very little data that is available. There is a study from Thailand where there has been one dose of a viral vectored vaccine following two doses of an inactivated vaccine, not the one that is used in India. And that showed an increase in antibodies as well. Just to come to the Indian situation, there are four vaccines that are available to be used as precautionary extra doses. They are Covishield, Covaxin, Corbivax, and Covovax. I'm right in saying, am I not, that there are no studies that exist that show the efficacy of either Covaxin or Corbivax as a third dose. There are no studies that show the efficacy of these two as third doses. Am I right? Well, using the strict definition of efficacy, there are no studies that show any uh, efficacy at all, because that depends on a clinical outcome. However, if we look at immunogenicity, the induction of an antibody response, we do have data for two doses of Covishield followed by either Covishield or Covovax but there is no data for Covaxin or Corbivax at this time. Uh, my institution, the Christian Medical College Velo, has a study that is ongoing where two doses of Covishield are being followed by a dose of Covishield or Covaxin, but those data are not available yet because we are blinded. Absolutely. So we have no data at the moment about the increase in antibodies if you use either Covaxin or Covivax as a third dose. But there is data if you use Covishield as a third dose after two earlier doses of Covishield. That comes from the University of Southampton in England. It was published recently by Lancet. And similarly, there is data if you use Covovax, which abroad is called Novovax, as a third dose after two doses of AstraZeneca. And that is the study you referred to earlier, and it shows that what's called the geometric mean ratio increases 3.25 times if you give a third dose of AstraZeneca after two earlier doses of AstraZeneca, but it increases over eight times if you give Covovax as a third dose after two doses of AstraZeneca. So it's very simple, isn't it? 
and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm making it simple for the audience. We don't have any studies that tell you how much antibodies increase if either Covaxin or Covivax are given as third jabs. We do have one study at least which tells you how much antibodies increase if Covishield is given after two doses of Covishield or if Covovax is given after two doses of Covishield. And that clearly shows that Covovax is far superior as a precautionary third dose. If you go by antibodies, absolutely correct. And unfortunately, we don't have any studies that estimate what would happen in terms of T cells. They are awaited, but we don't have them as yet. That's correct. So purely on the basis of boosting antibodies, the best third dose for everyone in India who's had two earlier doses of Covishield is Covovax. The second best one is likely to be Covishield. We just don't have any way of estimating the other two. Let me then come to a third critical question, is the government right to say that the third jab should be given nine months after the second? Or am I right in saying that all the research done abroad suggests that, in fact, it should be given five to six months after the second? Actually, uh, when we look at what has been done with booster doses, Many of the studies that have looked at boosting have used intervals as short as three months. So there have been intervals of three months, of six months, of nine months. We really haven't had studies of intervals as long as one year, but it's very feasible that longer gaps between the primary and boosting doses might actually be better than shorter gaps. There are data that show that your immune response continues to mature for as long as at least six months following infection or vaccination. This is based on studies that have been done through lymph node aspirations and are a very limited set of studies, but essentially what they say it show is that your antibody response improves in quality the longer you wait. So you have no problem with the gap between the second and the precautionary dose being nine months. You have no problem with that, even though the gap in European countries and America is six months or even less. I don't think I have a problem with that at all. And in fact, I would argue that it's very possible that a longer gap might be even better. We just don't have the data for that. Okay, this is your hunch, in other words, it's very possible that an even longer gap, i.e. more than nine months, possibly 12 months may be better, but we just don't have data, but that is your hunch. It's not a hunch, it's also informed by the fact that we have looked at vaccine boosting with other vaccines at much longer intervals than six or nine months. It basically, any time you give an additional dose of a vaccine, any time after three months, you will see an increase in antibodies because in most people, the antibody response is not maxed out. Okay. So I it's a question of improving both the amount of antibodies as well as the quality of the immune response. My last of the four critical questions, is the government right to limit third jabs for people over 60 to only those who have comorbidities or should it have made it available to everyone over 60? I think given the fact that age is one of the most critical factors in determining severity of disease, it makes it much easier both programmatically and in terms of protecting the vulnerable to just have a simple age cutoff instead of a qualifier. In other words, everyone over 60 should have qualified for getting a third dose, not just those people who are over 60 and also have comorbidities. That's very clear. I Sorry, you were about to you say could have said You could have set uh, an age cutoff of 65 or 70 or whatever it is. It's fine. You could make the age cut off 50 if you liked, but the fact remains that age is a key determinant 
of severe disease and comorbidities add to that but it is very clear that age matters and in most countries that's what's being used when boosters are being prioritized for populations Professor Gang, this is extremely clear and very kind of you to have made time at such short notice to answer these four critical questions. I'll just sum up for the audience the one answer that I think is important, because the question many people are asking themselves today is which would be the best precautionary dose to take? And as you said, we do not have any studies that tell us how much antibodies will increase if the third jab is Covaxin or Covivax. We do have one study at least that tells us how much antibodies will increase if the third jab is Covishield after two earlier Covishields or if the third jab is Covavax after two earlier Covishields. And that study done by Southampton University and published recently by The Lancet clearly shows that Covavax produces almost eight times more antibodies than Covishield as a third jab, but that suggests that Covavax would be the better one if boosting antibodies is what the intention is. I thank you very Can much. Add one qualifier. Go ahead. Um, a lot of the antibody response is dependent on the prior exposure of the individuals that are enrolled into a study. So if people were not previously infected and were included in the study, the amount of antibodies that they would make would in general be less than if they had been both infected and vaccinated. The priming that comes from infection, which is what you would expect to see in India, would be expected to lead to much larger increases in antibody responses. Absolutely. In other words, the outcome of a study depends very much upon the circumstances that are prevailing upon the people who are participants in that study. But that would be true of every study in every country, whether in India or in America. And that's a good point for people to bear in mind. But it still holds true that of the four, and if you're judging in terms of how much antibodies are boosted, Covovax is shown to be the best, and then Covishield, and we have no data as regards Covaxin and Covivax. I thank you very much indeed. Take care. Stay safe. Thank you.